So if we can go quickly onto the agenda, uh, 21, 22, slash 127. Uh, abs apologies for absence. Uh, to note apologies for absence. I think we've got one apologies from Steve, Steve Williams. Yeah. Yeah, proposed, yeah. Uh, can we, uh, proposed by, was it? John. By John Good and seconded by Philippa. All in um, favour. All in favour. All in favour. I think there's all. Yeah. There's all in favour. Yeah. So is that okay? Yeah. Uh, if we could move on to 21-22 slash 128, disclosure of interest. Uh, A, to receive declaration of interest from councillors on items on the agenda. Do we have yeah. any interest from councillors? Um, just that uh, my husband is a um, allotment holder. Okay. Uh, Okay, thank you, Helen, for that. Uh, to receive uh, written request for the description for disclosure of periphery interest, non received. And um, thirdly, to receive and consider request for disposition as appropriate. And if we move on to 2122 slash 129, I think everyone's got a copy of the last minutes. I don't know if yeah. everyone's had a chance to read the minutes. Yeah. Is yeah. there any kind of yeah. the uh, minutes are accurate? Uh, apparently, Councillor Good was not did not attend. Oh, he's I'll get, I'll, oh if you can get through that, yeah, you can. Oh, I'll, yeah. Are you not alone? So let's go. Have you dropped off the agenda? not on the top. top. All oh, right, yeah, yeah, the yeah, attendance, right. yeah. So yeah. please, uh, so you declare. did attend, John. Well, yeah, because yeah, he definitely did. He did. Can he did. Because it's mentioned that. later on. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'm sorry, John. Sorry. Yeah. Right. Hello, John. hi, Robert. So John, hi, Robert. Robert. Thank you. So we just, Robert, we're on the minutes of the last meeting. Oh, sorry. Can you manage? Can we get through, Robert? Or okay. with that amendment, I'll so close to. Robert, uh, have you had the chance to read the minutes of the last meeting? Yes, yeah, okay. okay yeah. So that goes is, with the amendment. With the amendment for seconded. John was okay, president of the meeting. John Meaney. Yeah. <laughs> so, was it uh, Howard yeah. proposed and seconded by Helen? Yeah. And I'm just abstaining. I don't, I don't think I was present at the mm. meeting. No, no. So, everyone's approved. And uh, next item on the agenda, which is uh, 21-22 slash 130, confidential items to be discussed after item 21-22 slash 140, uh, to consider if any items of the agenda needs to be discussed in confidence after items 21-22 slash 140, following the exclusion of the press and public due to the sensitive nature. If that is agreed by all, mm -hmm. yeah. that okay. Everyone's happy with that? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, next point on the agenda, which is 21 slash 20, uh, 21, uh, sorry, 21, 22 slash 131, public participation. This is the opportunities for members of the public. I remind me that this is the opportunity to speak to the meeting on any topic relevant to the work of the council. However, they may not speak during the rest of the meeting unless specifically invited to do so by the chair. The, would you like to... I, I would, and it. can I speak in confidence, please? Yes, so... <coughs> um, with the, uh, we'd need to suspend the recording we'd then. We'd need to suspend yes, the recording. Please. Is that what you... Can they yes. do that? Are we can they do that? I don't I, think I, we really just got to turn the mic off. Planning and then we locked up. Did do we? Because of And it, it's an open meeting. Um, yeah. Yes. Well, it, it was happened at the December can, meeting. Can I just ask, yeah. is it something that... Uh, can we ask why it needs to be in confidence? Mm. Because this is a this is public participation, so therefore it's it's public. Um, well, I just note that in the December meeting, um, 
and a member of the public asked for their comments to be confidential and the recording was turned off. <laughs> Is any of the yeah, you'll thought, you'll of it, it confidential wrong, or yes. sensitive? Yes. sensitive? I think it's sensitive more than anything because, mm. as the side back of that blade, I try to be even handed. Um, you know what I mean? I try not to be not to, to be show favouritism to mm -hmm. any any tenant yeah. or you know. Yeah. Okay, John. Can, 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 John can, yeah. can I say? Does it need to be suggested in this meeting? I mean, is it something that you want to report to the council as opposed to? This, you know, this committee. No, it, it, it's uh, you're reviewing the, the policy document. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, and I felt that this was something that I wanted to say um, from me as my personal opinion um, around about you know. Yeah. Yeah. About Beck Lane, not not the <sighs> district, but about Beck Lane. Yeah. Um, if I may, yeah, 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 chair, certainly, yeah. Just well, um, yeah. I wasn't at the meeting where the yeah. recording was switched off from member of the public. Had I been there, I would have advised not. Right. Well, um, what do you think, Eve? I agree, because it's improper. It's in this is public participation. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, if we're in the art centre and there was 100 people there, Oh, I would still you know, be it, 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 it would, it would oh, be the yeah. same. So I, yeah. I suppose I would just say try and be... Um, I know that you're even-handed and... Mm -hmm. and you know, but try and be um, as discreet, if you like, not naming names. Or, or there are no names there. Yeah, that's well, apart it. from the members of the committee. Yeah, it'll yeah. be yeah. fine. It'll be, be fine. fine. Well, I'll, it I'll stand be. up and then I can... Um, I've written it down so that I don't... Yeah, so, so, so that I don't yeah. waffle. Um, so it's a personal appeal against the proposed the proposal to put polytunnels on Beck Lane. Um, I'd like to go back and remind you of two remarks which have been made in this committee about Beck Lane allotments. This is going back over the last five years. The first was that the committee does not want the allotments, quote, looking like a shanty town, where more sheds were popping up after large plots were split in two. We've dealt with this by insisting that any new building, shed or greenhouse, be of approved material, up to a permitted size and in a pr approved location. The other quote was that Beck Lane allotments are only an asset for 40 tenants. It was always important to many of us that the site was an asset both environmentally and visually. But we have upped the game by some tenants who were failing in very significant ways leaving, and by the rest of us paying <coughs> even more attention to planting flowers, etc., for pollinating insects, while adding more colour to make the site attractive. The feedback when lockdown came in two years ago was incredible, and the pleasures passers by derived from the site cannot be overstated. We have our regulars, <coughs> photographers, bird watchers and many tourists and are certainly not seen as a shanty town. Only 24 hours before a meeting with John, Steve, Ruth and myself to discuss any amendments to the policy document, essentially our site rules, I learnt that a tenant had requested a polytunnel. The policy document has been repeatedly approved by this meeting, including point 514, the erection of pigeon lofts and polytunnels on allotments <coughs> is expressly forbidden by the town council. Expressly was presumably used to prevent the appearance of visual eyesores in the shanty town. The unknown tenant had not provided any rationale as to why this radical change should be considered, and polytunnels had not become any less of an eyesore in the intervening years. Had a petition come in from a number of tenants, then perhaps this could have been considered, or had we had a community group on site, um, then you could look at whether we should make an exception where several people would want to work indoors at the same time, <coughs> as polytunnels usually have better headroom. I might have been ambivalent to this had somebody not erected a polytunnel about three or four years ago, a very good quality opaque white one, just a few feet from the door wall, um, and the impact of it was startling, blocking a surprising amount of the view because of the sloping nature of the site. The tenant was roasted, this tenant was told to remove it immediately and did so. What they would think if somebody else was given permission so soon after suggests more grievance to come. Most of our plots are separated from their neighbours by two foot wide paths, 60 centimetres only, and we need to be aware that problems such as excess run runoff from polytunnels could cause flooding on a neighbour's plot. Our site lies on a deep bed of clay, whilst causing shading too. We do not want the upset and harmony this could cause. In addition to maintaining our own standards for visual amenity, the site is, of course, in a conservation area. 
Little time has been allowed for finding out the current legalities for conservation areas and people's views. When I approached the very experienced Bragg Met um, Allotments Officer, Jeanette Goodinson, she did not give me a definitive answer, but referred me to a detailed document published by the NSALG, that's the National Society of Allotment and Leisure Gardeners, I think. And to paraphrase, paraphrase the advice for conservation areas, it boiled down to, polytunnels are allowed, except where they aren't. I.e., if the site is in a historic or beautiful location, then polytunnels would not be granted planning permission. I feel we qualify for this twice, being adjacent to the historic Grade 1 listed Five Rise Locks, and as a much appreciate, appreciated traditional, even quaint, allotment site. We have subsequently heard that Bradford Met do not tend to enforce these rules, i.e. the needing of planning permission for shed greenhouses and polytunnel. But tend is not a definitive, not a yes or no, and planning permission may have to be sought retrospectively. There is a second important issue here. Should policy changes result from a single anonymous request? Will we be setting the precedent here? I've always said that our site runs on cooperation and this proposed change is likely to spoil the happy atmosphere. On a positive note, compliments about the site are not just occasional, they are repeated over and over and over. A tradesman told me of the many sites he had visited, ours was the best. Last summer, a group of young people were walking along Beck Lane and as they came to the gate, they got their first view of the site. One young lady, to my surprise, exclaimed, Oh, they are delightful. Please can we keep them that way? Yeah, thank you very much. I think we've got a, you know, I mean, the issues that you've raised, yes. you know, I mean, I yeah. think it's on the agenda later on, Jenny. I think you've had a meeting with uh, uh, yourself, yes. I think, uh, yeah. Councillor Good. Steve Williams, I think, also Rep. Uh, Ruth Thompson as well, I think. Chair, you could, I, could I suggest that you move the yeah. item forward? Uh, well, forward uh, uh, and then uh, Jennifer and, uh, and Ray don't have to stay after that. That's, uh, that's that, uh, would that be... The second, then. I'll just ask, as the second member of the public, could I also say I, I, I'm supporting precisely what Jennifer's said. Certainly. We'll put that on the record. I, I yeah. second it. Is yeah. that okay with everyone so we can uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. move the item? I think the item on <coughs> allotments is all right. We can move that. All in favour. Oh, sorry. It's all in favour? Yeah. 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 Thank you very much. So, so if we move the allotments... Uh, First of all, uh, that's 21, 22, slash 135, the allotments uh, agenda is just come forward. So, firstly, to receive an update on the allotments and consider any issues, including following, to agree the updated allotment policies. So you've got a problem here, Chair, because yeah, you, okay. you can't approve that unless you approve, approve the, uh, whether you have polytunnels or not. So... Uh, my view on, on the polytunnels is that, personally, I, I went to the trouble of going up and walking on Beck Lane. <clears throat> and in my view, um, I do, I personally, this is my personal view, yeah. Yeah. I don't think it would be detrimental to the site. Um, basically, th that's my view. Uh, I, I <coughs> try to give a... Pan uh, took a panoramic panoramic view and I thought well an odd polytunnel wouldn't make that much difference that is my opinion um, I'm not convinced about the runoff of the water either um, but it's up to this committee to decide whether we should continue um, to exclude polytunnels or whether we should accept them um, there's been lots of documentation um, to support, uh, sorry, to accompany this, to, to inform this meeting, uh, hopefully people have read it and you have, you have their own views, but that's my view. Okay. Thank you, uh, Helen. Um, I would just like to say uh, thank you to Ruth for the um, the work that I she's done. I should have said that. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, and, the, you know, the way that she's laid out the pros and cons mm -hmm. For the um, for the use of poly polytunnels, um, I mean, at the end, she's 
uh, reduced it to four options, which mm. are to continue to prohibit the use of poly polytunnels, prohibit the use on sites in conservation mm. areas such as Beck Lane, but allow them on Stanley Street, allow a trial of a limited number of polytunnels, um, or to go ahead and allow polytunnels on Bingley Town Council allotment sites. So Tamisha's encapsulated it extremely well. Um, personally, I'd, I'm kind of not really in favour of them, I think, is, is my, right. my, my personal yeah, view. Yeah. Um, I, I think um, I accept uh, Jennifer's points about the the visual amenity of, of the place right that's my view absolutely fine yeah any other members yeah chair how so you can ask helen can you perhaps ex, uh, extend that a little bit by what, what you really mean well i i think that they are a a, a good visual amenity yeah. i think that the work that goes on there i think they've been improved immensely oh, yeah, particularly mm. since ruth came to work for us i think she's been an absolute yeah. Mm, yeah. you know asset and i know that the work that's been done with the deer fences yeah. all the work oh, that we've yeah. done with the the cottage you know uh, you know there's been yeah. a huge yeah. amount of work yeah. Do, yeah. On, yeah. done on them um and I think I'm really just kind of, you know, plastic-free Bingley again. You know what are polytunnels made of? Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, and yeah. and I just think in yeah. terms of protecting the environment and keeping the place green, I, mm. I, I'm kind of not really much in favour yeah. of them. That's yeah. personal. Yeah. Can I just ask, just generally, how is is it a general feeling of the people who have the allotments that they don't want them, or that they do, or is it a split? You know, as 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 opinion being sought from everybody. I don't or? think. Yeah, I don't think they're, they're known, are they? Right. Really? They've ne they've, as far as I know, they've never been allowed. Mm. Um, and I think the the, <laughs> the commercial, really rugged ones, um, haven't been used on allotments. You know, because of the cost of them. Mm. Um, I expect that the the cost has dropped so that um, um, more people can afford them. Um, the other thing is, of course, that the, the all, all the big plots, barring I think three, no one, two, yeah, there's, there's just three what were the original full size plot. Every but all the others have been split to, to half size plots, mm. um, and so w what would have not been too, you know, in your face on a full size plot, on the half size plots, you know, are, are quite big, especially as we we bump the the size of the greenhouses up to. To ten by eight. Um, sorry, we're still imperial for greenhouses, yeah. but to, to ten by eight because we have some plots that are, are, are quite shaded, and it seemed only fair to allow them to have bigger greenhouses. But that's le led it to the fact that the polytunnel could be ten. A polytunnel could be ten by eight as well. And of course, they are they have not got the the double pen mm -hmm. roof. But they're you know they're more elliptical. So you've got a, a, a greater head height, and therefore a, a greater obstructions to the view. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Jenny. Can I just add on this? Because obviously I'm not an expert on this, probably, John, because I've yeah. seen uh, on here, you know, I mean, which is obviously uh, yeah, the concerns about the, you know, the environment and being on a conserv <coughs> conservation side. Uh, it says on a point here, you know, I mean, about the polycarbonate greenhouse, uh, greenhouses, which are currently allowed, could provide an alternative to the greenhouse, if the cost is determining factor, no. is, is that? I don't think that. Is that an option, or does it make a difference? Interestingly, the greenhouse that I have has got polycarbonate yeah. things in because it was a Israeli thing that I've had for twenty years. But um, I don't think cost as regards whether you had a polycarbonate or whether mm. you had would be it'd be minimal, but. Um, but I don't think that's the issue. It's a, whether it should be a polytunnel, which is a, a plastic structure, uh, or, okay, or, or, or a, take, sorry, sorry, is that finished? John? I, I think this is, the, this, is, this is the bit I don't quite yeah. get. So if mm. anybody, if everybody who wanted a polytunnel mm. put up a shed or a greenhouse, wouldn't that be mm. the same impact on visual amenity? I know uh, they're slightly nicer to look mm, at. Yeah. Because um, a, a big, a big wood of, wood of plastic is mm. just, is just that. It's yes. not, it's not particularly pretty, but a greenhouse or a shed is going to cause as much 
impact on like going on to other plots and if we allow that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. I, th I, think I would say that <coughs> traditionally, <coughs> excuse me, you know, allotments have greenhouses or sheds and yeah. do, you know, so that. Mm -hmm. Can I make a suggestion mm -hmm. which, um, picking up on Maureen's point, would it be wise to canvas mm. the allotment holders for their opinion yeah. before we make a decision on this? We can adopt the policy with, um, without, with, yeah. with, you know, an amendment that a decision is still to be made oh, well, on, on that's, polytunnels. That's yeah. Mm. I, yeah. I think there's one thing that I haven't mentioned, and that is that, and I've thought this from day one, is we might be opening a big can of worms with this. Right, go on. If, if we don't leave it as it, as it, uh, if we do, if we if we change it and allow polytunnels, we might, because there's a suggestion that we add up to, allowed up to three. Mm -hmm. uh, then what happens then if you oh, have it opened up to three? Yeah. You know, yeah. why can't I have one? Yeah. There might yeah. be not, there might be just one that wants mm -hmm. one. Um, so that's another consideration. Mm. Um, so with that in mind, you know, I mean, how can you can how can you canvas apart from Jennifer going and uh, or or write to all tenants and ask them? I, I, I don't know. I think that's. I think you'd be a, going by gen, general feeling. We're, we're probably better off leaving it leaving it as it is. Although I I don't see a problem, but mm. you know, just from a practical point of view, and the administration. Of the allotments by Billy Town by the officers of Billy Town Council, I think it might save a lot of time and trouble in the future. Okay. Yeah, Robert. Yeah. Yes, um, I like the can of worms analogy because uh, uh, <laughs> the main thing about this is uh, we don't want any unnecessary problems now or in the future. Allotments have been around for yonks, but it's surprising how emotional it can get. When there's a change that other people don't like. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Hmm. So with that in mind, Chair, I'll, I'm, mm. as I say, I don't have against it, but I'm going to propose that we leave it as it is, and that we can sign the policy off and we we'll sort it tonight. Second that. And did how did you want to no. say something? I know no, you had your hand up. Was, no. I've, is it just, Philippa, yeah. just one other little question on the politics you put in something about gates and people handing keys back are there gates on all the other, all the sites are there gates um, on yeah. Stanley Street yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. there's gates on yeah there's, there's, there's gate yeah but the only difference between Stanley Street yeah is that, that they have a key that fits that lock every one in Beck Lane that's a and as a, a Key that will fit all the allotments in Bradford. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so, are we, are we going with number one, which is continue yeah. to prohibit the use of polytunnels? Is that your I'm proposal? Gonna pro I'm going to propose that. Yes. Okay. So, can I just uh, for the thing? So, we're looking at uh, option one, which yeah. Councillor Good and yeah, I'll uh, second that. Uh, yeah. uh, I'll second that. And uh, all in favour of that? Yes. Yeah. Probably the best. So okay. Nicola, so. we're just going for if you can record oh, that. Absolutely. Because it's because we option one. It's a, it's oh, sorry. Oh, is it? Yeah, I thought it was, sorry. Uh, I thought you did. Oh, uh, because I'm looking back. Because, yeah, yeah, because yes. <laughs> that also, of course, means that all all the alterations that have been made, and we we spent three yeah. hours. I moved my car twice. Yeah. That word, isn't it? <laughs> uh, so so yeah. so so all those alterations were agreed by Jennifer, myself yeah. uh, and Steve. So okay. Yeah. So if we can yeah, obviously we've seen the uh, obviously the alteration on the allotment policies and yeah, well, that, so uh, we can that, uh, no it no it needs changing, does it? It, not? it needs changing, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, because I think in the policy that as is, it says that we're going to change and allow polytunnels, doesn't yes. it? Yes, that's right. 514. So, so that, that 514, Eve, yeah? Yeah. yeah? It's all right. 514 is all right, Eve. And uh, we go with the the option one, wasn't it? That's yeah. right, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's okay. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank, you, so Thank you very much, okay. uh, Jenny. And Thank you for your time. And Thank you. Okay, okay uh, see you later. Okay, I, if we go on to...
to the next agenda. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, which chair, is we're not to this oh, we're doing very item B. We need to do Oh, sorry. Three and yes, four, three, that's right. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's in four. I think we've yeah. got a carried away with the... Uh, yeah, we have. So, yeah, that's, so if we go on to the second part of the, um, the allotments, which is to agree an approach to rent increases and concessions for the year 2023-24, uh, to give plot holders one year's notice of proposed changes uh, further, obviously, we've got the information to come, isn't it, on that? So, yeah, we've got, we've got information on that. Yeah. Basically, what it's all about is uh, there's just a mishmash at the moment. Yeah. It's, it's historical, and uh, I don't know if anybody else wants to say anything, but I'd be willing to propose that... Uh, the suggestions that Rolf's made as regards increasing, uh, sorry, um, eliminating concessions apart from uh, means tested and one one uh, one plot for the site rep. Um, I agree with that. I second that. Who's that? Oh, so well, I'll propose it then. If if we get. Are, 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 are there any? Do we have sorry. any agreements with any people around the concessions? <coughs> no, <coughs> or is it just purely they it, it, they resign the tenancy every the, year and we can? That's 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 what ha happens at the moment. Um, but the, I don't know if you read the stuff, but basically it's it's it is included that we are allowed to change it. I've asked for this in the past actually, just just because just in the because the, 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 it, yes every, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, the, the bit that got me is just that we, we've got you've got in here that some concessions are no longer available to new plot holders, that, yeah. but are ring fenced for existing plot holders. Mm. So we're taking that ring fence. So, so that ring fencing's it's previously what, what, been agreed, and we're mm. now taking it away. And then, <clears> and then it's a reduced plot size concession. So, are we charging so, people the same amount of money for different plot sizes? Absolutely, because what happened, what, right, so when Bingley Town Council took over, there were a number of plots that were full-size plots. Uh, Bradford Council had started to um, split plots, okay? We did that, but we also said at that time we would charge the same rent, i.e. the full rent for the half, that had now, be, had now become a full plot from which actually was a half of a larger plot. Okay, it says it in there actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, different mm -hmm. size of plot. So yes. So we charge so, everybody the same amount of money, if, if, regardless of their plot yeah, size. Yeah, apart from where they've got concession. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, the, the 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 irony of this is that Mrs. Smith, who was there, <clears throat> who's been there for donkey's years, gave up a quarter of a, a, a gave up a quarter of her area and finish up paying more rent oh, yeah. because of the concessions and things that she'd had in the past so this would make it much simpler so i'd like to propose i just want to get clarification on that john would that be mean that obviously the concessions obviously if we t eliminate the concessions so will the rise go in in line with inflation how uh, well it's it, that again it does say it in the document it uh, or, or it, it, it <coughs> It, it says will normally be used to the what it's CP, CPI. What's that stands for? Cost, uh, commu, cost, consumer pricing. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Consumer. Yeah. 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 It will be based on that, based but on it does that. allow us to to change the. Uh, oh. an, another thing which which came up in our, our meeting um, uh, when we were uh, reviewing the policy uh, was roads time. Um, that's yeah. never taken into consideration, but obviously, I mean, just in this particular exercise, you spent loads and loads. So that's where I'm coming from. I, I'm I'm in favour of uh, withdraw, withdrawing the concessions, concession, making everybody pay an, an, uh, an amount of rent. If the plot's split, that becomes two full rents. Can yeah. I just throw something in there, given the comments made at the last full council meeting by a member of the public? Um, who seemed to believe that um, the allotments were run at a loss. Right. If you remember. I do. Yeah. Um, you know, we said from the beginning that the allotments would 
pay for themselves. The, 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 yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and I think that that's really important. That, yeah. um, uh-huh. Well, the world. Yeah. I mean, there's a good. Yeah. There's a good. Uh, we don't want to be seen. Well, we've got a good. We've got a good. We've got a good. Unless supporters or whatever. Unless unless something serious goes wrong, we've got a huge. We've got a huge. Uh, reserve it? anyway. Yeah. Yeah. We've got a good reserve anyway. Yeah. Okay. So, so can we propose uh, uh-huh. that we obviously? Can I have we... another question? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. So, <laughs> sorry, Philip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just had uh, means-tested benefits. Yeah. Do we have a Do we have a tight definition of what that is? No. I would... um, it, but people have to apply. So if they have a if they're on kind of any benefits, probably. If they, if, if they, if they, well, they, nowadays they, it does be universal, universal credit. credit. I was thinking That's about correct, yeah. things like pension credits. How are yeah. we going to give pensioners? This is, I'm asking. <laughs> yes. There would be probably a criteria where I would have presumed. <laughs> How are we going to define it? Because we need to be clear when we go. Well, if it's a means tested yeah. benefit, then it's a means tested benefit. benefit. I'd agree with that. Yeah. It takes yeah. everything yeah. into account, yeah. And, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. John's. Proposing that uh, we we do what it says on the tin. We give we give the tenant we give the tenants twelve months notice that yeah. from uh, from uh, is it April that's right April twenty four twenty three twenty three twenty three uh, that we'll be withdrawing concessions apart from uh, With people on uh, mean testing benefits. benefits and one on one site one free uh, plot for the site rep. And one free. And will that go out with the? Yes, the yes. Again, it's, 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 it, 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 does, it does say so in the thing. Yeah. It will, yeah. That information yeah. will go out with the with the invoices for twenty twenty two. Yeah. Uh, have we got that, Eve? Yeah. I'll second said, that. Is that second? Yeah. And all in favour? Yeah. Thank you very much for that. Uh, moving on, if we go on to twenty one twenty two slash one three two. Bank uh, reconciliation statement and balances to receive. I'm sure everyone's received a copy yeah. of that uh, bank reconciliation statement for January 22. Um, anybody got any comments? No, I'm pretty confident I know the answer to this, but it is well, I'll answer the question. Is that 814 come from Friends of Milk Park? Yes, yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Is that just is that just as a one off or? No, it's no. They they got a grant. They got a grant. grant. They, 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 un, they underspent on a grant. Ah, so the, and, yes. and unfortunately, unfortunately, they've given it back. Oh, thank you. I'd have told them to keep it, but never mind. <laughs> right. Life for it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. how it works, John. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I think they've been honest, and uh, you know, yeah. no, yeah, good yeah. to see. So in the future, when they're, we do they're, they're, they're an excellent, cr- the excellent yeah. crew. I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So can I uh, propose uh, we accept ha- those? Yeah, we second propose Helen, uh, propose, seconded by John. All in favour? Okay, thank you very much for that. Uh, that's the second one. Uh, we'll move on to the next item, which is 21, 22, slash 133, uh, green and clean. <laughs> you're going to be sick of rain for one night, aren't you? Uh, <laughs> to receive an update uh, from uh, Councillor Good. Uh, right to agree on any actions. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. I mean, I'll give, I'll give an update. Uh, yeah, okay. Our last little pick, our um, it was horrendous. Yeah, we yeah. But we did have. Uh, I, th- did yeah. I, send, I don't think I sent everybody a, an email, did I? You I did. Well, I got one. I know you. Yeah. Oh well, I know. Say you special. Yeah. 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 <laughs> did I send it out to everybody? All yeah. oh, right. Yeah, okay. Good. That's great. Good. Uh, we had a really, um, and I actually did something as well, so that that was good. I, I usually have to sit on, well, not sit on with one, but... Truck. <laughs> no, no, I don't sit in that. Um, but because the council has to be on site uh, by <coughs> the insurance, I, I, I tend not to do any hands-on stuff, but I managed to uh, clear all the um, muck and stuff out of the, the gutter, uh, the curb edging all round where there's cigarette ends and God knows oh, what. Right, so I've got yeah. two bags of rubbish out there. I've got 15 bags. Now, this is uh, green and clean. And I've had, a, a, as I came out of the house, in fact, at five past six to the, tonight, a, a, one of our litter pickers rung me up and he was suggesting, and I want to put this to the meeting, um, 
it would highlight in a piece of um, towpath uh, tow on the canal from uh, Morton Lane. Yeah, Morton Lane on, but, but it's actually on um, the school grounds. There's some woodland in the school grounds. So basically, what I'm putting to this meeting is his suggestion was that possibly Bingley Town Council could approach the school for sort of access because it's and possibly get the school involved. I think that would be an excellent idea. Mm. Uh, so that, the, course, what's primary is that? Yeah, that's yeah. the primary school. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So I, 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 I'm happy to sort of yeah. take that mm. on if you like yeah, in, uh, and, 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 and get in touch with them. I think the more we can do to involve schools. Mm. Well, well, the, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, well, well in, yeah. In, 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 when we first started, we did three oh. We did three actual school visits where we went in, but uh, we, Edwin and myself and uh, Sarah and... Yes, and, it's a good idea. So, uh, and the other thing is uh, that I've actually been, uh, we've had an email from somebody um, flagging up Ely Lane as a possible site for uh, Litter Peak. Uh, also around the parish church. Now, a um, couple of things on that. I've been to have a look. Um, Ely Lane is a nightmare. Not not litter wise, it's dangerous. Mm -hmm. um, so I wouldn't be recommending that unless we just did a bit from the wagon lane end. Um, but at the moment, it's not that bad. Um, but there is there's litter. Uh, the other to one. To be honest, I walked along there today. Mm -hmm. Have you walked along it? Well, you're brave. It's, you know. It was. <laughs> Yeah, with a tip. Mm. you know, I, I, I wouldn't do well, that. Unless, I wouldn't do that unless it was high summer and. Um, no, no. I, well, I walked past and tried to avoid, uh, tried to avoid going in the mud, and I were, yeah. I were, uh, it was dangerous. Anyway, so that's. I'm not saying we shouldn't do it because we've done we've done them there before, and we you could run it from John Escrit Road. Yes. Uh, go up bottom of John Escrit Road and and go under back down that footpath and yeah. back. If we wanted to do that, the other one was uh, oh round Parish Church. Now, not a lot of people know this, but um, Ellen uh, and Eve and Nicola and Marcia uh, are going to have a meeting, and I've been invited to this meeting, and that could involve something to do with such things as litter picks and. Uh, the, 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 um, Andy Alderson's a, a new um, ass, assistant officer, I think they call him. He's a ward officer. officer, yeah. And so he's, uh, he's, he's going to come as well. So I, I know him well enough. I had a conversation in here uh, last week just before that lit picking cottingly. So that could define where we have our next litter pick. So at the moment, I don't have any um, mm. suggestions apart from what I've just mentioned now. Mm. Um, but um, we'll we'll decide a bit near the other time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anybody yeah. want to add anything on to that? Uh, no? no. No. First of all, yeah, I'd like to thank John and all the crew <coughs> for doing a wonderful job. I think we should be recording. I think you know, especially in all weathers and everything. And yeah. well, yeah, you know, we really appreciate it in terms of you know, yeah, good. town council. I think I, yeah. actually, <coughs> majority, majority of the people came here were. Uh, we're only ten and, yeah. and me, but um, we're couples that uh, two couples that were on my garden gardening group. So, oh, so, yeah. so we're six from. Well, so we could have done a we could have done a gardening session yeah. at the same time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah excellent. And also, uh, John's proposal that we approach the school uh, cross flag yeah. primary. Uh, look at that site. Is it on the woodlands on Morton Lane? Is that is that, is that the woodlands it, on Morton it, it, Morton it, it, Lane? You're saying schools at what? Uh, the it's mm. it's uh, looking at the next. It's the canal. It's, it's, the canal yeah, it's, it's on the canal side. Canal but side. I think it's actually. I think we'd have to access. Oh, and just. And an, not an aside, an addition. Addition, yeah. What I did notice, Ellen, uh, did you walk on from Wagon Lane? <laughs> yeah. There's a tremendous amount of stuff at the far side of the fence mm. uh, in the in the school. So, mm -hmm. you know, we could perhaps. Uh, I don't know whether we could get access to it or just inform the school. There's a lot of litter. Mm -hmm. um, it's all blown against the fencing. Yeah, all yeah. right. Mm. Oh, and then I've been to look at the the other one I've been to look at today is the one that we've done before, where I walk I walk from the cemetery to um, 
bit Bradford Road uh, yeah. by Bingley Grammar School where they, they mm -hmm. use that footpath. Mm -hmm. That isn't that bad, mm -hmm. but it's where they smoke weed. <laughs> <laughs> there is, there is a, a chap yeah. who's cross flats who does a lot of lip picking around there. I think that's who's rung me tonight. Uh, 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 no, 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 it's in Darren. Oh. Oh, it does where? He tends to do, he does that little section, you know, mm -hmm. where you can cut up to where? the cemetery where they... Oh, I see. All oh, right. No, no. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. He tends yeah. to keep up with that a fair bit. Yeah. So where does he live? He lives on um, Woodlands Avenue, is it? Woodland View. The long road that runs at the side of the railway in Cross Flats. All right. Darren Garn it's called, and right. he does a lot of... Oh, is he the picking. photographer? Yeah, he's the one who uh, yeah. goes up looking for the badges. Oh. Like, pictures. Yeah. All right. So okay. he, he tends to, to do a bag of... <laughs> Yeah, well, that's yeah. There. Oh, that's yeah. It was good. It was it was pretty good up there mm. and, and all around there. But but uh, on the old old the old cemetery or whatever you want to call it, the far side of the road, there's quite a few, uh, quite a bit of litter there. But I think I think there's other things going on uh, <laughs> within Bradford Council. So I think we'll know more when we have our meeting. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, John, for that uh, okay. update. Uh, so I think we've got the. Uh, Recommendations I will we leave. Yeah, we could move on to the <coughs> next uh, part, which is the which is twenty one twenty two slash one three four markets update uh, to receive a update on the market. Uh, well, there uh, isn't we, a written um, uh, yeah. report because yeah. the market was cancelled. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. um, I was sad about that. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't. Um, I wasn't. <laughs> I, you know, um, the decision was made by Otley Town Partnership. Yeah, yeah. They make the decision, mm. not us. Um, right. I was very right. relieved right. and right. I thought it was a wise decision. Yeah. Yeah. There is a meeting next week about markets generally um, to do with the, the Chamber of Trade events our events and, right. and so on. Yeah. Um, so uh, I know that it's unfortunate that it's during the day um, and not everybody who's interested can attend. Um, but um, to allow uh, Peter and Jane from Otley Town Partnership to attend, right. uh, that's why it's during yeah, the day no, really, fine. rather than at the evening. Um, and Michelle Chapman has been invited, and Jamie Ellingworth from mm -hmm. the Chamber oh, of Trade. Yeah. He's not able to attend. Is he not? Oh, well, no. Michelle will be there. Um, so it's just a case of kind of ironing out a few issues oh, that really they good. that they have right, yeah. because they are can't get the stalls that they need for their Easter event. Right. Um, things have sort of changed with their supplier right. um, and various things that we've discussed in the past yeah, yeah. sort of do we provide storage yeah. area and, and all of that yeah, yeah. Um, so there will be more information you know for the next full council or the yeah. next um, F and GP yeah. meeting as regards the market right. and I think we've got to put our heads into some kind of future planning really, yeah, absolutely. future yeah. proofing mm -hmm. really yeah. of the markets yeah okay Thank you, Helen, for that. Uh, I just wanted to ask, you know, in terms of the, in, uh, you know, that meeting, is it the open to the councillors as well? Yes, oh yes, yes, yes. Been yes. It, it, it's a, it's yes. not a subcommittee oh, yeah, as yeah. such. It, 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 we never have had just a market subcommittee yeah. because it was... Out to everyone yeah, yeah, I think that might be... Yeah. Markets before always came under EMAC, but now yeah. the EMAC has been disbanded. Yeah. So this is just a mm. general, yeah. you know... Mm. A, Information gathering, I suppose, yeah. and uh, um, brainstorming. Yeah. So oh, any yeah. any council. So that the words are better than one. Uh, yeah. Time and place of the meeting. It's um, evil sent the agenda out. It's twelve thirty on Monday. On Monday here. Yeah. Please, <laughs> next Monday, fourteenth, isn't it? Yeah. So I think he will send a message out to all of yeah. the council yeah. whoever's uh, free to attend that meeting. Thank you very much uh, for that, Helen. Uh, for that, uh, if we can move on to the next item, which is 20, uh, 21, 22, slash 136, uh, policy review to receive an update on the amendments to the SIL policy and to agree any actions, I think. Yeah, April was I think we'd, Steve, Helen and I are, look, are looking at it, but we haven't got anything to bring back at this oh, time, so we'll defer so, it. Yeah. I didn't have time to look at it before so, Steve yeah. went on holiday. So, and, um, are we happy if we can defer the, uh, on that, if anybody would like to propose? I'll propose that. Helen yeah. proposed, seconded by Philip. Uh, all oh. in 
Stephen. <laughs> 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 no, I think it's all in favour, yeah. We'll agree, we haven't we done back. anything. We'll 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 have a short mission. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we can move on. Uh, 2122 slash 137. Oh dear, it's jolly good. I think. Is it even update like on the. Oh, you've got Howard and Ashraf. Uh, for the uh, Cottingly Ward. Except, Ward, except Ward, he doesn't know what I know. <laughs> Cottingly Ward. I know, well, I know, I think I know everything. I think, uh, yeah, okay, that's good. I think I'll probably leave that to what? John. Well, <laughs> Howard. <laughs> John, I, 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 I would say, I, I would say, 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 I I would say, 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 I would and I believe you went with Mark yeah. on the following day, didn't you, John? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's uh, obviously we've had uh, we've had the um, prices up since then. Yes, yes, yes. I see that there. There's so, an email that came yesterday. So uh, what what was suggested was mm. uh, I had an initial idea, and then um, when he priced that up on while I was on site. Um, it came at three thousand eight hundred. So I suggested putting a, a making another um, wall wall mounted um, fitting, if you like. Mm. But he needed to get more. Um, he couldn't give me a definitive answer <coughs> at that time till he got in touch with his uh, in, installer. So it took him till this well Monday, I think, when I got a. Um, he'd been away the week before. So it's it's come up with that, including uh, a wall-mounted um, feature. Uh, feature, and it comes to four thousand one hundred and five. Now, when I had a, um, the meeting with Mark on the the day after the day after I'd um, met with Festival Lights, <clears throat> um, basically what it's about this is that. Co uh, Bingley Town Council will get. Ten trees, four light fittings with the with the sockets, uh, uh, four four I forget how long meter uh, uh, fitting for hundred and five pound. That's what it amounts to. Um, so because we'll be getting four thousand pound grant, and mm. so basically uh, what we're talking about as regards uh, Christmas lights for twenty twenty two is that. That would just be added, if you like, added to the budget or whatever you like to call it. Mm. So I think it's a brilliant uh, result. I think it's yeah. So I think um, so. That's all I've got to say. I don't know what, where we go from there, Dave. Just, uh, just uh, do it. Do we order that or what do we do? We need to send the agreement back to the council mm. and then oh. we get the money. <coughs> oh yes, yeah, the yeah, agreement. Yes. Yeah. Because I would yeah. sign the agreement. Yeah, yeah. but they, I, I've signed it, but they haven't the provided an up, they haven't no. provided with an updated, yeah. updated yeah. contract with the dates. Right, because okay. what happened was we got we got the contract, and uh, <coughs> when I had a look at it, it said that the um, the money had to be spent by the thirty first of thirtieth of March, last day in March. Mm. And we've been told before that it was end of September, but that's been confirmed that it is the end of September where the money has to be spent by. But they haven't sent the paperwork yet. To, We're to, just waiting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Confirmation. Yeah. Thank you. So, for so, that, so that's just work in progress in that case, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's an excellent idea. I saw the you know I mean uh, the lights in Cottingley. I think it'll be really money yeah. well well spent there yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah. And it'll brighten up the area for the Christmas and... Uh, and then it relieves John of having to do this yeah. work on a period of a year. Yeah, it's brilliant. So, uh, oh, I wasn't thinking of myself. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, thank you. Respect, John. you can't so so thank you, John and Howard, for the so. update. And, uh, <coughs> and perhaps we should record our thanks to John yes. for the work that he's done in the oh, past yes. and continues to do. Yes, uh, certainly. I'd yes, uh, second that as well. I'm sure all the other councils yeah. will do the same as well. And... Okay. Yeah. We should put yeah. that on record as well, Eve. Uh, let's uh, move on to the next item, which is 2122 slash 138, uh, litter in Bingley Town Centre. To consider contacting local licensed premises regarding the town centre's litter problem as highlighted by litter picks. Uh, John, probably... Uh, yeah, well, I can say something yeah, on that. that I, 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 
we've we've discussed this before, yeah. uh, but it, it was thought um, or it was suggested that it might be um, yeah. what shall we say a bit too um, targeted, targeted, uh, and it should be. Uh, any, general. A, 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 a general, a general one for for any what shall we say food outlets or etc. Yes, that was suggested yeah. at the last full council meeting by Councillor Heseltine, I believe that we shouldn't just write to license yeah. premises yeah. but yeah. to I, I would take agree away with that. premises. Um, this was one of the things when you know if we had an environmental ward and this yeah. was one of the mm. tasks that we kind of hoped that they would take on that yeah. they'd make contact with. The licensed premises yeah. with the takeaways mm. and encourage them to um, site their bins in a proper yeah. place yeah. to use them, you know, properly and to keep the area around. I have to say, you know, I, I put this on for the full council because I was so appalled mm. by the last little people did around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and the, you know, there were two. There were two premises in particular, which, when we've done litter picks round here, yeah. which have really stood out yeah. as being yeah. in a you know, yeah. in a bad yeah. way. Yeah. Um, but uh, you know, I think we should um, write a letter to the mall and say that you know, it is a problem. We want to keep Bingley tidy, and the mm. unsightly bins, overflowing bins, mm. yeah. or areas which are not cleaned up. Yeah. Um, outside areas in particular in the yeah. pubs yeah. need to be dealt with by yeah. the pub management. Yeah. Yeah. It shouldn't, oh, it yeah. shouldn't yeah. be down yeah. to volunteers. And as you say, yeah. it should apply to all the... Yes, yeah, can, can uh, on this situation, I was thinking financial support came straight to my head from all local businesses concerned in terms of uh, extra bins, more appropriate um, spots for bins as uh, support for um, uh, themselves doing something. Well, they all pay business rates. Yeah, yeah. And the, part of those business rates are they get provided with, the bins. with bins yeah. and with recycling bins. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they they get that support, well, don't yeah. they, yeah. from, I, I from Bradford I, Med. I wouldn't support But if you go... I won't name the place, but if you go along the back of the little house, for yeah, instance, yeah. It's yeah. An, uh, yeah. around there and down the slope yeah, towards uh, yeah. the riverside I've walk, been there. I've it is horrendous. It's yeah. vile. It's yeah. absolutely yeah. vile. Yeah. Another alley, if you're going down towards the station at the bottom there yeah. from the whole band of right. mm. yeah. takeaway, mm, yeah. you know, it's disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Around another big place that used to be called something else down the main street yeah. on the left, yeah. it's vile. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, really yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you know, I can't understand I'm not it. saying it's up to the bar staff to go out and clean it up, but it's up to the management. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you think, you know, yeah. anybody, anybody, anybody in, yeah. you know, who had any pride in, in, in the business, yeah. they'd, they'd clean it up, wouldn't they? Yeah. Well, you yeah. think so, yeah. well, it's so, rats as well, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's I know when you walk down past the takeaways and yeah. where you were talking about the bottom yeah. of town, you often see them because... People are just throwing mm. yeah. cartons yeah. of food that they've not eaten yeah. all over all the pavement. Like they're still there at four o'clock the day afterwards. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and the cleansing so, team can only do so much. Yeah. Yeah. And if the the pub st the, if the pub management don't make sure that the rubbish is cleared and put into bins, yeah. it's not the job of the cleansing teams to go around no. yeah. cleaning Good. the areas no, around, no, is it? No, no, no. I, I think so. you're right, Helen, because I think I used to have a business. I'm just saying because I think it should be the responsibility of the owners. Yes, the anything yes. that's outside my premises, I'll make sure it's yeah. neat and clean. Yeah, well, other well, I in. think it, yeah. it, it encourages yeah. people to... Do, I, I think it discourages people. It yes. yeah. That's yeah. correct. Yeah. But so, I think I agree with what Helen pointed out, that we should write a letter. Yeah. But yeah. I yeah. also think that we should work with the enforcement of Bradford Council as well. Mm -hmm. to, and I think kind of you need that enforcement element with it mm -hmm. uh, under letter. How do you, I don't know, if is there any chance that we can speak to enforcement of well, Bradford Council? Perhaps that's something that could be brought up with Andy Alderson. This is the sort of thing. This is the sort of thing. This is the sort of thing. I'm optimistic about this. I'm optimistic yeah, yeah. about this meeting. Mm -hmm. I am. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So, um, should should we ask for that to be added to yeah. that agenda? Is that okay? Uh, yeah. And then Andy Alderson and Marcy can have a copy of the letter mm. as it goes out. So that they know yeah. what's been said. That's right, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, so I think it, yeah, it gives it a bit more weight if we have yeah. the enforcement part yeah. of the council yes, as well. Yeah. With yeah. It I think you're right. Yeah. Yeah. We could have that meeting and then finish yeah. the letter there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. this yeah. is what they're going to do yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. A copy, they see a copy of the letter before. Before it goes yeah. out yeah. and then they yeah. can you know, add it or amend it as they see fit. Yeah. yeah. So I'll, 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 that, yeah. I'll do a minute that, Chair. I'll do a minute that. Is that what you've got? Yeah. To, to, well, to, we'll compose a letter. We'll compose a letter yeah. So basically, we have to approve that we're going to write that we're going to write a letter. I'll suggest that we're going to... I'll, I'll to gonna, I'll, and include, include and ask for advice and from the mean, ward officer and the right. assistant That's ward so officer. So you'll propose that and I'll yeah. second it. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Propose that. Uh, Ellen, Helen's uh, proposed, uh, seconded by John. All in favour? Good. That's everyone. <laughs> Thank you. If we go on to the next item uh, on the agenda, which is 2122 slash 139 risk management to review the risk, identify any uh, new or unacceptable level of risk to the town council and to consider the review the council risk management and risk assessment policy. I think everyone's seen the current policy and associated advice from YLC and two yeah. examples of policies. I um, think uh, I've got an email which was uh, sent uh, to Eve uh, by y YCL. I think uh, they looked at our document um, yeah, clearly, and I think uh, they're saying that. I've just read slightly. I don't know if you've seen everyone's yeah, seen yeah, a copy yeah, of that, yeah. which is really yeah. concerning is uh, the part where this says that it seems that it has been the best intention, but it's lacking in details yeah. to make it. A useful working document yes. and uh, he also goes on to say it is uh, really worrying that although there is an item on the agenda you know reviewers nothing is ever done with the risk identified yes. so also they've sent uh, two examples oh, of yeah. document I yeah. think uh, yeah. from Walton Abbey Town yeah. Council yeah. on the yeah. risk management strategy I didn't understand I've just briefly re re yeah, re 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 seen it and also They've what sent vision? another one with the uh, the Gastan Town Council as well. Gastan, yeah. I obviously briefly had a look at it and everything, and uh, uh, obviously uh, our document, you know, obviously it does follow a lot of the thing which is on the mm -hmm. practice. But I think yeah, that's what the I've... examples given on this is probably a bit more clearer, and they've got a nice m m metric system which uh, yeah. really identifies the mm -hmm. risk and management. I think. Yeah. So I don't know if anybody else had, you know, I mean, had a chance to have a look at the policies and uh, make. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Helen. Um, I I picked out those two things yeah. as as you did. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't know whether I agree with nothing is ever done with yeah, the no. risks identified. I well, think that's. Of course it is. Yeah. You, you know the fact that we're yeah. aware of them. Yeah. Informs our practice. Yeah. So yeah. I thought that that was yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, or a, a kind of a, a sweeping yeah. statement. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. completely yeah. true. Um, but I do think that you know we need to make it a useful working document. Mm -hmm. um, at the end, she says um, there is a um, a company called DMH Solutions, mm, yeah, yeah. which um, you know. Are advising larger councils. I do. Th I would like to suggest that it's worth us consulting, mm. or getting a price from them or from other. My um, reading of what she was saying yeah. was that they all sell you some software to Absolutely. manage risks, yeah. not that they'll help you manage risks. Right. Oh. Yeah. I mean, most most yeah. large companies would manage risks. They just do it on Excel on a spreadsheet. Okay. I don't right. think we need anything. Oh, okay, no. fair enough. Yeah. More, yeah. more. I agree. Um, yeah. But I, I looked at both those documents mm. and I thought the the one from Walter Mabby, mm. um, <laughs> it was useful, but it's very wordy mm. and very sort of text based yeah, yeah. and I thought it was sort of a good explanation mm. of of different risks yeah. but I didn't think it was particularly helpful mm. in sort of identifying a risk and, and, and how to deal with it I thought that the Garstang mm. Town Council one was more useful yeah. this was like something Mick Taylor would have come up with yeah. he loved a um, colour coded chart didn't he yeah yeah, yeah. Um, and I thought that 
that this one mm. was something that would perhaps be more useful, mm. that was kind of more accessible to everyone. I don't know what the rest of you think. Yeah, but yeah, everybody yeah. else. Uh, sorry, Helen. Go on, Philippa. Philippa. I, I think we almost need both. Yes. Which is, <laughs> you, you need the policy, which yeah. is just the policy, yeah. Yeah. and it's all those words. Mm -hmm. So that was yes. yeah, yeah. But then you need your active risk yes. register, yeah. which is what this second, right, second yeah. one is. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. that's the one that we should be maintaining and monitoring on and a, updating on, on, on a regular, regular basis. basis. Mm -hmm. I yeah. see, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. so you have a written policy. Yeah. Uh -huh. That is Billy Town Council's policy. Mm. But that just identifies just like the different risks and, and what we're doing and, about them. Right. And yeah. we look yeah. at yeah. them so and we go, yeah. is, is something going to become more, more likely? So we need to readdress yeah. the mitigation you know, change control the number, measures, right. whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. And identify who's doing what. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. think that's the other important thing yeah. with this yeah. that yeah. it identifies yeah. who's going to do it and when. Yeah. Whereas I suppose we tend to say, right, that's a risk, whatever. Yeah over to Eve and Nicola yeah, yeah. or you know whatever yeah, yeah. And, and and it it gets done but yeah. it's not done in such an, an itemised way yeah. Yeah, yeah what are the rest of well, you what did you else? think mm. no I think I agree with you I've just been looking at it now I mm. had a quick look this mm. afternoon um, and I think you're right I think it just it just simplifies it a little bit doesn't it mm. um I'm not. I'm not massively uh, up on how to write these type of things. But I just think that. Do you think it's um, worth a couple of people going off with myself and Nicola mm, and having a look at this? Yes. I think that was one of the things I was going to suggest because obviously the our. Policy it isn't bad, you know. I mean, I think we've done a no, good job, no. you know. I mean, all it is, I think, is <clears throat> they've just made it a bit more concise mm -hmm. and a bit more, you know. I mean, you know, in terms of the metrics, easy, and to, easy manage, to read yeah. and easy yeah. to manage, really. I think that's the only difference. I think we've got the content here. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. I think if one or two councillors, just, uh, just a bit agree, more palatable, it, exactly, to be, doesn't it? Yes, yeah. 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 if one or two councillors, you know, I mean, agree and sit with Eve and Nicola just to. <coughs> sit down and review mm. our policies. I think that's the proposal I would like to make. If if everyone, I'm happy to do it. Okay, we've got Philippa. Any other councillors uh, who'd like I'm to? I'm happy to do it. The only problem is I'm more work all through the day. Okay, it's just if it needs to be through the day. But yeah. I'm quite happy to help. Okay, by email. Yeah, you can do it by email. You can, yeah. Yeah. You can if you have the facility. <laughs> 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 so yeah. if we're on yeah. agreement, if we if we're in agreement on the proposal that uh, Maureen and Philippa will look into the uh, documents and uh, review yeah. our risk strategy and work with the good practices of other town councils, I think, and work with Eve is okay. Yeah. So uh, I've proposed that, and if anyone would like to propose by Philippa, seconded by Helen, all in favour? Okay, excellent. And presumably to report back to the next That's session, right, GP yeah, or, report back. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the sooner the better, really, yeah. before the next financial year, if possible. If possible yeah. that's but right. it might take a bit longer. It might take a bit longer, I think it's a lot, a lot of documents. It might be six so, weeks rather than yeah. a month, maybe. Philippa, oh. I, I think we could probably do it relatively quickly. Yeah. Oh, OK, we'll leave that with yourself. So. I mean, I've got some good templates to work yeah. there. Very good. Very, very good. We're a bit of a hybrid, don't we, with what they're doing? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's right, yeah. Okay, uh, we move on to the next agenda, which is 21 22 slash 140. Exclusion propose of the that. press and public. Uh, propose that we exclude the press and public. Okay. By Robert, all in favour? Okay. Uh, we're all left now. Right. Stop, 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 stop recording. Stop recording.